Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime. And again, we just have a very simple computation here. Um, if you saw something like this on your GED, um, this symbol, it would likely be on the non-calculator section. Um, so the first five problems there. So this particular problem just says simplify. So simplify again means perform the indicated operation. So whatever symbol you see, in this case division, you're going to do that math. And so I'm going to divide. Uh, it says take negative 490 and divide by 7. So students try to memorize the rules of negatives a lot and they tend to get them all mushed up. So rather than just memorizing a rule, I'm going to try to tap into your understanding here. Remember that a negative number is like debt that you owe. So I want you to imagine that uh, when, when we're dividing by, we start with a total. So this is the total debt that you owe. You owe $490 total. Now the act of dividing means that that is broken into equal groups. In this case, seven equal groups were dividing by seven, meaning that it's like I owe $490 among seven people. So if you think about it, um, I... Uh, I owe money to each one of them, so my answer definitely has to be a negative because um, the question is like if I owe $490 total equally among seven people, how much do I owe each person? That's a really good representation of that. So I'm just going to now divide by seven now that I determine the sign. Seven goes into 49 seven times perfectly with no remainder, and seven goes into zero uh, zero times perfectly with no remainder. And so I'm able to do this one very simply without a calculator, without even using long division. Uh, I did use sight division, if you want to practice that skill. I have a video on that. But um, real simple problem. If uh, I owe $490 among seven people, I owe each one of them $70. Uh, and so hence the negative. That's like owing them money. Great, really simple little problem. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, uh, be sure to drop it in the comments. I'll do my very best to answer it.